Yo, you guys, this is Blacklist of the Abyss, and you're watching my late review for Hunter Hunter episode 118. And the thing about this is that for some reason, all my work ends up coming up on Tuesdays. So, but when I say coming up on Tuesdays, I mean it's due on Wednesday. Right, so last night I was doing a paper. I was writing a paper, and I had to finish that by today. Um, by like t by today at like 10:30, had to be up at like 9:30. So it's it, I, yeah, it's I had to yeah. All right, school comes first. Um, plus I had another group project I had to work on too. So it was uh, yeah Tuesday. It's just busy. All right, busy. All right. So that's why this is late. Um, I don't think I'll have more work doing what actually I might. Actually, I think I have an exam next Wednesday. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I should probably find out. Uh, well, anyway. Hunter Hunter. Um, this one started off with Yuppie. Uh, he's kind of just going around that little crater, punching things, hitting APR, trying to make Knuckle think that he's angry and he's losing control again. Because he knows Knuckle's plan. He's figured it out. And he's trying to bait him in. And, um... Yeah, he's just pretending to be angry, rampaging, hitting APR, going ballistic. Um, so after we get a little bit of what's going on there, we end up switching to Poof. It turns out he's he's releasing microorganisms, 100, 100 million uh, microorganisms. And he's just, he's they're small enough to get through Smoky Jail, and also uh, Morel can't see them because of how small they are and how he's spreading them out. So, he's pretty much using these microorganisms to escape Smoky Jail. They go outside, and they reform his body. Um, so, I, I, I get, he's, he's, I can't tell if it's him legitimately turning himself into microorganisms and then escaping and then reforming, or if it's just these microorganisms kind of forming a clone, or excuse me, forming a clone of him. Not really sure about which one it is, but... The point is that there was, there's going to be a poof. There's going to be a shower poof outside Smoky Jail. Um, and after that, we focus on Ikalgo for a little bit. For a decent amount of time. Uh, he's he's going to the warehouse to see if Palm is there. And using satellite dragonflies, he finds Bravada on, on, the, path that, um, on the path behind him. So if he's, when he's coming back, he's going to have to pass by Bravada. And he realizes that. And... Because Bravada is down there, he realizes that uh, he messed up at some point, that Bravada is is suspicious of him, okay? And he's, he, he tries to figure out reasons why, he, why but it, it, not, it, not, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Um, there's no point. I'm, I'm not going to talk about his actual thought process, because the, the gist of it is that he didn't figure anything out. He pretty much what he did is he put things up there, then realized they weren't good, and he threw them away afterwards. So it's he he couldn't figure it out pretty much. Uh, he knew it wasn't anything too too fatal, but you know, it, he 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 couldn't figure it out. <laughs> um, but he ended up making it to the warehouse, going through the place where um, BSF was keeping all the women. He talks to all of them. Palm isn't there, and when he's looking around, he's using Yo, and he actually finds a message from Palm. Okay, and it essentially says, it tells him that she went to the palace and she's not there, she hasn't gotten in contact with them before the start of the mission, then they should assume that she's dead. Okay. And in that scenario, if Palm is in fact dead or assumed to be dead, what Ikalgo was supposed to do is go support the team with, dra with uh, satellite dragonflies and talk telepathically with Meliaron and just help them out that way, support the team with the mission. Alright. But... He can't do that, because the way he was going to do it was he would make up the lie that the people he was talking with were, like, Hagia, you know, people who are allies. However, since he's not trusted, that would just be a red flag for, for Bruvada and, and Welfin. No, he doesn't, he doesn't know about Welfin. Uh, he only knows about Bruvada. Um, that would be a red flag for Bruvada, so he realizes, okay, if I'm going to do that, I need to take out Bruvada first. Okay, so he goes back, and he actually runs into Bravada. Not literally. I, what he should have done was legit run into Bravada, but but he didn't. <laughs> um, I guess he didn't want someone to find their body, even though there are bodies right outside 
the elevator, right? That Kamui took that. Who cares, right? He could have just taken Bravada out right then. At least tried to. At least he'd be injured or something. I don't know how tough his body is as a Chimera ant, but he'd be injured at the very least. Um, but he didn't. He stopped and he started talking to Bravada. And he and Bravada refers to Leo as Hagia. And Flutter, yet again, does not realize anything. So he confirms that Flutter is, in fact, uh, a fake, an imposter. Nisemono, okay, Nisemono. All right. He's, he's an imposter, so Bravada just up and starts shooting. And he starts shooting <laughs> and completely destroys Flutter's body, all right? Well, Flutter's corpse, yeah, all right? So he's looking around saying, all right, imposter destroyed, all right, time to inform everybody, all right? And Ikalgo, Ikalgo hasn't been killed, all right? He's underneath the truck. Bravada doesn't realize that, though, so he goes onto the elevator to go and, and, and tell everybody. And it turns out he doesn't... He's no, I guess he's, he's never used the elevator before. He doesn't know about the whole passcode system, which is when which, which is when things start to get interesting. Right? I kind of didn't want uh, I kind of didn't want them to switch back to you being knuckle and all that. I kind of wanted them to stay with with uh, Ikalgo and Bravada because I just wanted to see how this turns out. Because this guy is going to get his pa the passcodes wrong, and it's it's, it's not going to turn out well. He's going to get knocked out. People are going to come down, kill him, and all this stuff. Then once he's dead, Ikalgo can go in or can take over his body. But I mean, that's if he's reported as dead, it's not going to help much. But still, still, <laughs> still, um, it's better, better, better than being in his normal form, it, it, going around as Ikalgo as a guy who can't really do anything. At least if he's with bravado, he can shoot people. All right, but um, yeah, they they uh, stopped with that scene at that point, which is unfortunate. Um, and that's when they switched over to Yuppie. Um, and Knuckle was kind of just observing Yuppie going ballistic. And he he estimates that it will take approximately 10 minutes. 10 minutes for Yuppie to legitimately go bankrupt from uh, APR. But he can't wait that long because he's, he's just not going to last. He's not going to last that much longer. His life is fading away. So he can't wait 10 more minutes. So he decides the only way to legitimately do this is to make Yuppie explode. <laughs> and as weird as that line sounds, Yuppie had some lines that were much worse than that. I was laughing the entire time when he was saying this stuff. He was saying things like, oh, I'm, I'm going to explode at any moment. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to explode. Oh, but right before I explode, I'll pause for a bit. <laughs> like he was, he was saying stuff like that, saying like, "Oh, I, I can control my growth." <laughs> I'm like, dude, you, you gotta realize what you're saying, Crunchyroll. <laughs> like, they should have rephrased this a, a little bit. Like, come on, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta realize that that sounds so, kind of suspect, right? Like, well, not necessarily, but still, that's. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that that that, that I, I was just laughing when I saw that. I was just laughing. I saw I saw people post pictures of it online where they were post posting uh the picture the screenshots and the subtitles and saying, uh, you know, you and I have a lot of things in common. You know, people were saying stuff like that, so that was kinda of funny. I enjoyed that scene, but the main purpose of that is that UP succeeds in drawing Knuckle in. He starts to explode. And Knuckle goes in, and uh, it was weird, because they started like doing this, you know how sometimes, especially when your adrenaline is pumping, um, time can, you can somehow think a lot of thoughts in just like a span of like a second, like everyone does it at some point, it's just, everyone does it, it's just a matter of if you're conscious of it or not. Um, he he had a lot of thoughts going through his head though, and, so, and they were just really weird, it was like, com it was comedy stuff. Uh, it was like kind of out of place, but like it was it was just weird. Like, it was it was just weird, and it turns out that the reason that was happening was because not 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 his life flashing before his eyes, but he the point of it was to show that he realized he was about to die. Pretty much, he realized he was about to die. All right, and Yuppie co goes up there with this huge freaking fist. He like he re he stops the transformation to the explosion and turns back into normal Yuppie. And his fist is like. He's using gear third or something. He was about to destroy Knuckle. And I'm not going to lie. I, at first I thought, you know, this dude Knuckle, man, he's going to get got. All right? Knuckle is going to get got. But then I thought, you know what? It just doesn't seem right for... It's... I don't... 
I don't remember Togashi ever trying to use humor right before a character got killed off. Like, it, it's kind of weird. Maybe he won't die after all. And I start to think, well, who can save him? I, and, like, the first person to come to mind was actually Palm. Because I was kind of like, I, I kind of forgot about Kamua. Because I was, I was primed uh, with thoughts of Palm. So I, I was just thinking, well, Palm is going to show up out of nowhere and save Knuckle. But no, it turns out it's actually Kamua, which was awesome. He came in with a thunderbolt, Narukami, all right? He paralyzed uh, Yuppie for a little bit. And Knuckle got like eight punches in plus a kick. Or eight hits in, one of, the, one of which was a kick, all right? And that was pretty legit. It was pretty legit. And then <laughs> Knuckle got out of there real quick. <laughs> he got out of there real quick. All right. And Kalua, he he comes down. All right. He'd be trying to figure out how did I not sent how, what happened to me? Did I get attacked from someone else? How did I not uh how did I not realize that someone else was there? How did I not see the thunderbolt coming down? Like he was trying to think of all this stuff. And Kalua just shows up, and he starts walking down to fight you. Be saying he's going to let off uh, let off some steam. Probably from the, all the going stuff and going treating him like crap, all right. But dude, from looking at the, then looking in Kalua's eyes, plus the way he looked in the in the preview with the lightning surrounding him, his hair was freaking spiked and crap. Like, yeah, Kalua, yo, man, Kalua, is gonna be really legit next week. I can tell. I can tell. It's it's gonna be epic. It really will. Um, but yeah, that's. That's pretty much it. Um, yeah, that's that's it for this episode. Um, overall, I'll give this episode an eight out of ten. I thought it was good. But the highlights for me were the stuff with um, uh, Bravada and the elevator and Calgo Flutter, plus Kalua coming in at the end. Um, the stuff with Knuckle, like the comedy and stuff, trying to figure out why he likes shoot and all that, like. How he began to like shoot and view him as a friend. That stuff. I was like, it was just, it was just so weird. Like, I don't know how to think of, it, think of it. I don't know what to think. Um, plus, there were the, just there were those brief scenes in the beginning. But I mean, you know, it's overall, overall, just yeah. I'll, I'll just say it's a good episode and give it an eight out of ten. And yeah, that's it, you guys. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Don't